Hello, I'm Jenny Parker and in this video I'm going to talk about how to get started on task 2, Digital Citizenship. First, let's go to the LMS and have a look at the details for task 2. Here in the task 2 section we can see the due date and we can also see links to the learning guide with the task 2 details, task 2 example website and also the resources for task 2. We can also download a copy of the marking rubric and we have the link to submit the assignment. There's the discussion forums that we can participate to help us understand and comprehend the information that we're learning for this particular project. And there's some activities that will help us develop our digital citizenship skills and our understanding of copyright. Let's start by having a look at the task 2 details. Now what I would do to get started is probably grab a pen and paper or open up a Word document and make some notes about the concepts and subtasks that we need to do to complete this particular task too. So we can see here in the details, which is an extract from the unit guide, that we're going to be researching responsible and ethical use of ICT and we're going to add two pages to our website that we've already created and we're going to create two educational resources that demonstrate how technology can be used to support student learning. So the areas that we need to research are responsible and ethical use of the internet and we need to focus that on our particular phase of teaching. So if I'm an early childhood teacher I would focus my attention on providing information for that area. If I'm secondary I'd focus it for secondary students or parents or teachers, wherever your target audience may be. We need to add two pages to our website, one titled something like responsible use and the other titled ethical use or similar. We can see here we need to add images to support the information that we put on our pages to make them more appealing. We need to include correct active hyperlinks, which means our readers should be able to click on those links and be taken to the websites where we sourced our information, ideas or images. And we need to make sure that all our information and ideas abides by copyright laws and that we acknowledge the original author correctly. The two resources we need to create are either a digital poster or a comic strip for resource one to do with responsible use. And for resource two, to do with ethical use, it, we could use either an online quiz or an online video. Now let's have a look at the example website that's provided for us. We can see the website that was created for task one has the home page, contact me and safe use page. And now there's a responsible web use and ethical web use page added to this website. The responsible web page in this particular case talks about topics like online presence, netiquette, non-discriminative language and flaming. And in this case the resource that they've chosen to create is a poster about the topic flaming. And if we click on that link we'll be able to see the example poster. The ethical use page covers topics such as attribution, copyright, plagiarism and creative commons. The resource they've chosen to use on this website is a video, an online video about copyright. Now let's go back to the LMS and have a look at what resources are available to help support us in completing this task. The on-campus side will have the lecture recordings once they've been presented each week and on the right hand side we have the online lectures, tutorials, links etc. So we have some tutorials, we have links to the technology toolbox about concepts such as copyright, creative commons, digital literacy, researching in week 4. And if we scroll down we can see week 5 is a break week. Although there's no lectures and workshops we're still expected to be working throughout this time so we can still research and complete our tasks too, even though we don't need to attend university. In week six, we can see more tutorials that will help us to select um, technologies. This 
particular videos about selecting a poster and I would imagine it would be a similar thing for selecting our comics or videos or quiz technologies. Down under the technology toolbox website links we can see we've got links to the different creating for each of those different technologies and on these pages there'll be links to suggested technologies that we could use for creating posters, comics, quizzes, screencast videos etc. So we can see the LMS has a lot of resources, links and information to help us with task 2. Let's just go back and have a look at the notes that I created about the concepts we need to look at for task 2. So here I've made a note of the research that I need to do. I need to research responsible use of the web, ethical use of the web, in particular copyright and creative commons, and I need to know how to attribute others' works correctly. I've also got some notes under the website um, reminding myself to have a look at the example provided so I can go back and look at that multiple times. I need to add two pages to my existing website. I need to write up my research to demonstrate my understanding of the topics responsible and ethical use. I need to make sure I've got clickable hyperlinks so that my readers can identify where I found my information and ideas. I need to include some images and other media that will help demonstrate my knowledge about copyright and acknowledging other people's works and I need to make sure that I abide by copyright laws and correctly acknowledge others' work. And down here I've made some notes about the resources and that there's some suggested technologies that will help me decide which resource I want to make, a poster, a comic strip, a quiz or a video. And last but not least I've made a note to check the marking rubric to make sure that I've addressed all of the criteria for task 2.